Hello beautiful and wonderful people. Welcome back to Jinamon channel. If you are new here, it's so great to have you. Please don't forget to follow my page and subscribe to my channel as well. In today's recipe, I'll share with you how to make this amazing. It's so easy to make. It took no time and trust me, going to fell in love with this churros recipe. It turned out so, so delicious. Your kids are going to love it once you try it for them. Let's get started. In the saucepan, I added in butter, a pinch of salt, sugar, vanilla extract. The last ingredient that I'll be adding, the last but not the least, <laughs> is water. So um, I'll add in water, I'll on the fire and then stir this until it comes to a boil. So I'll stir this until the um, butter dissolves completely and then I'll leave it and bring it to a boil. So once it boils, I'll add in the flour. The flour didn't add it to it all at once. One cup at a time and then the rest of the flour so i'll list the exact amount of the ingredients that i used in the comment section or in the description box below once the flour is added you want to go ahead and stir it faster make sure you stir it faster if not it could form lumps you can use a spatula but i prefer using a wooden a wooden spoon so that i can drive it <laughs> just like so you want it smooth like this once it has come together and you found that it's smooth like this transfer it on your work surface i then went in with a spatula to make sure it cools down slightly cools down or just a little bit so that your hands can handle it so i use my spatula to spread it and then fold it spread it and fold it until my hands can handle it and then i need it for about two to three minutes you want it smooth so make sure you have time for it and i need it for about two to three minutes so there's something or that's what you're looking for it should be smooth like this if you use the same amount of the re uh, the, re um, the recipe or the ingredients that I used, you get the same thing. This is what you're going to get. After I turn it on my bowl and then cover the surface with a clean film to stop it from drying out. At this point, you want to go ahead and pre-eat your oil. So I then transfer some of the dough in my piping bag and then on my wet surface, I squeeze some out. The length should be around 15 to 17 centimeters. So when you get to the end, before you cut, twist it. Twist it and then cut it. This is very simple. It's easy. Once you've done the first one, second one, the third one will be very, very or much easier for you. So as demonstrated in the video, when you get to the end before you cut it, make sure you twist it and then cut it. It's simple. <laughs> when done, bring one, twist it again as demonstrated in the video. Just look at how beautiful it is and then pinch the edge together. Does it as simple as A, B, C, D? <laughs> Let's do another one again. Bring one, twist it, twist until you get to this point, and then bring the edge together, just like so. This is beautiful. You can make, you can even fry it like that, like when you make the long stripes just fry it like this and it's so so delicious so you can also make it like this and at this point you want to go ahead and fry those bad boys fry them <laughs> so guys when frying those bad boys make sure the oil is hot you want to put it in a hot oil if not it will absorb the oil and it wouldn't look presentable or it wouldn't look nice so make sure the hot the oil is very very hot before dipping or putting them in so basically there's it guys this is simple it is easy and look at it look at how beautiful it is just stay close to it keep turning it until they get to this color this nicely beautifully golden brown color that means it's ready you are at the right point remove it from the oil and bring the excess oil on a paper towel basically you are done <laughs> you can do thousands of this in no time guys guys this is so, so delicious it is beautiful when done you can sprinkle a little bit of sugar on on top on it or you can make the chocolate sauce and you are good to go love you all see you in my next video please make sure you share bye bye